Good morning, my fellow SAP students. Um, what um, I wanted to talk about this morning in SAP was the field status variant. And basically, every general ledger account has a field status variant. Uh, basically, in order to have the field status variant, um, You've got your general ledger master template, and this is just some of the information in the master template, and certainly not all of it. So you would have your general ledger number, a description, account type, group, bank, and keyword. So what I'll do is we'll just say um, A1000, so that's the, the number of the account. We'll just say um, we'll just say a bank account. We'll say um, business bank because remember in yesterday uh, we were actually talking about SAP FICO banking, and we'll say it's the bank account. So it's an asset GL account. Okay, um, then you would say bank. Yesterday we gave an example of Reading Bank. And keyword, um, you can use any keyword you want. I haven't assigned it to a group and I haven't assigned it to a keyword. But you know, you, you would do it like when you created the account. Uh, but we won't do it in this example. And so basically that's what you've done. You've created your banking account or any general ledger account. But in this example, we use the banking account. Um, and what you would do is you have your field status variant. And when you go on to create your banking account, uh, they will give you lots of fields that you can actually put in that general ledger. So an R would be required. An O would be optional, and an S would be suppressed. And these are little O's here, but I tried to make them little dots. And, um, you know, I didn't really know how to make dots, so I didn't do it. But if you can just imagine it's a little dot instead of an O. So what you would do is, like, for your dis any of the parameters, like they'll say, like, reconciliation account, name, address, uh, type of payment. They'll give you all these different parameters that you can actually put into the account and you will be given a choice whether you want to make it required or whether you want to make it optional or whether you want to suppress it. And there's also another um, parameter that I didn't put in this particular exercise and it would be a D for display. So you could display it as well, but um, I didn't put it in this example. But I will in the next um, the next presentations I give. So that's your create. You have created your general ledger account of your business banking account. Although we didn't put uh, a group and we didn't put a keyword, we'll just leave that blank for the time being. And then this is where you define it. So you define your field your field status variant into any general ledger account that you make. And in this example, which we made in previous videos, we decided we would have asset, liability, expenses, and income accounts. So what you would have to do is you would have to define your um, define these accounts. When you created the accounts, you would be asked a lot of information and you would have to you would be given the status bar and you would have to decide whether this was going to be required, optional, suppressed, and also displayed, which I didn't put in this example. And then the third step is you assign your field status variant to your company code. So that is your three uh, steps that you get involved with uh, in your field status variant for SAP FICO. You've got your create, create your general ledger, define, 
uh, when you've created your general ledger, you will actually be asked to decide which parameters are going to be um, required, optional, suppressed, or displayed. And then you've got your assign. So you would assign your field status variant to your company code. And that's something that um, you definitely need to know about when creating general ledger accounts. So I hope you got some, something out of this um, example. And I will see you next video.